thousands of dollars spent on a monument to the current mayor of a North County city. Citizens are demanding a Missouri state audit to see whether their tax dollars are being wasted. Fox 2's Elliot Davis digs in for answers about this deal in tonight's You Paid For It. Janine Roberts says the city of Jennings has a lot of needs, but she doesn't see her tax dollars being spent to address what it needs most. We need uh, to feel safe. We need, you know, we need policing. We, we're tired of hearing gunshots ringing out in the middle of the night and not knowing where they're coming from or if it's going to come through your home. She points to this monument to the current mayor, Yolanda Austin, as an example of what the city shouldn't have done with taxpayers' money. It's a monument dedicating the city basketball court in the city park in the mayor's honor. It has Mayor Austin's picture on it with the words, Honorable Mayor Yolanda Austin Basketball Court. It cost taxpayers $13,000. It was approved by the council with the mayor's blessing. You got a monument. It means, again, I have no words to describe how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even understand why that even exists. I did reach out to Mayor Yolanda Austin for her comment. I never heard back. Do you think this monument is a waste of money? Most definitely that. Most definitely a waste of money. And things like that is why we need to have a state audit to go through the books. This is one of the reasons these Jennings citizens are trying to get signatures to bring in a state audit. Jennings Councilman Gary Johnson is with citizens on this issue. The people have not, are not aware of the money. They don't know where it's at. And we want, we just want some transparency and we want uh, to actually know where the money is being spent and how it's being used. A proposal by the mayor and other council members to build a new city hall also has many citizens up in arms. The original price tag for this $14 million. Many would rather the money be spent in the neighborhoods on derelict houses and safety concerns. They suggest renovating the current city hall. What are your concerns about the city hall project? So the city hall project at this point, I don't believe we can afford it. I don't believe it's feasible for the city. And I think that's part, that's a big part of the problem is that most of the things are done are not done for the good of the people. So those trying to get to the bottom of spending on items like a $13,000 monument to the mayor uh, say they'll have about a year to collect the signatures they need to get a state audit. But they believe they'll be successful precisely because of spending like the monument and the $14 million some want to spend on a new city hall. Of course, I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.